business, uh, the Walter Menhoff Foundation, which uh, does leadership training for youth and things like that. Uh, before that, uh, I was a school teacher. I taught high school and uh, special education, and also, too, I taught uh, world history. And uh, even before that, I played in the NFL for two years with multiple teams, the Colts, Bengals, Bills, things like that. So I played running back. And um, how I got to that, basically, just a background about me. At the age of five, I was diagnosed with a learning disability. So I was in special education classes all the way up until uh, eighth grade, until I tested out of uh, special education. So I did pretty good on the field, on the basketball court, things like that. I kept my grades up, and I was able to get a scholarship to the University of Illinois to play uh, football on a full scholarship. And uh, from there, I majored in sociology and African American studies. And uh, you know, basically, though, my number one focus was ball. And you know, in high school and all those things, it was all about playing football, playing basketball, things like that. But when I got to college, I kind of had a realization that you know, the business aspect of it, and also too that I was basically a pawn in a thing that was a lot bigger than me. So it made me kind of think of what else I was more, you know, uh, what else I could do, what were my other gifts. And, um, you know, I played a couple years in the league, didn't work out the way I wanted to work out. I uh, was in a little depression for a little bit because that's all I knew what to do. And then I had to find my passion again. And how I did that was I started coaching at my local high school. I realized I had a gift for reaching young people, especially troubled young people. And uh, that turned into a teaching opportunity. And then, you know, that turned into a, uh, also another opportunity in which I went to go get my master's and things like that and my certifications to teach. And um, after that, I just realized, you know, one day I just uh, was teaching. I looked at my check and I just was like, you know what, I feel like I'm worth more than this. So that got me into the entrepreneurship thing. And I realized I wanted to use my gift of reaching young people, but also to kind of uh, making a business out of it. So that's when I started to public speak. And I started speaking in places. I spoke at universities for you know, my old football team, George Washington University, went around the country speaking and realizing that they pay you money just to speak for an hour if you have something to say. And uh, you know, I just kind of made that a business. And then you know, my passion for young people, I turned that into leadership training. And currently, I just finished a uh, program at Northeastern Illinois University on the north side uh, leadership program, eight-week leadership program for their minority students for retention. And uh, that's what basically I do.